What's up, Christ United Kids? Are you ready for another day of learning from God's Word? Before we jump in, let's practice our daily, our weekly memory verse. All right, who thinks they can do it with me? Awesome. Luke 5, 16. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. Awesome. Guys, we've been learning this week that God wants us to connect with him. He wants us to spend time with him, just like Jesus did, just like Moses did, just like so many people in the Bible did. And he doesn't just want us to do that sometimes. He wants us to connect with him and talk to him every single day. Yesterday, we talked about praying and that sometimes we might not know what to pray. And so we talked about using the tacos to help us to help us go through giving God thanks and praise and adoration and then telling him the things that we've done wrong and saying that we're sorry and then praying for other people and then lastly praying for ourselves and asking God God this is what I need all right well today we're going to talk about another part of being in prayer with God and this part is so so important because how many of you have ever had a conversation with someone? How many of you have ever talked to one of your friends or maybe called your grandma on the phone? Yeah, awesome. Well, when you called them or talked to your friend at school or even talked to your teacher, were you the only one talking? No. And in Exodus, when we saw about, when we saw when Moses went into the tent of the meeting and he, and he sat down and he talked to God, he didn't do all the talking. He didn't just talk to God and say his peace. God talked back to him. Well, God doesn't necessarily, God doesn't speak to us in the same way that he spoke to Moses. We, God doesn't sit down and there's not a place where we can go like Moses did, where we can just sit and talk to God face to face. But God sent us something so powerful, two things. The first is the Holy Spirit. When we ask Jesus to come into our hearts, the Holy Spirit comes into our hearts and helps us. He's this, and remember we've talked so much about this. He is our special helper that helps lead and guide us. We also have all of God's words right here in our Bible. We have God's word in our Bible. And so he speaks to us through his word. I'm gonna just kind of show you a little bit how that works. If you've got your Bibles, turn to Psalm 19. So just the other day, when I was in my lonely place, having my quiet time, talking to God, we were I was reading this psalm, okay? And I'm gonna kind of talk to you about what it looked like for me. So before I get into God's word every single day, I always pray, God, use your word to speak to my heart. Help me to know what you want me to know today. Teach me, lead me, guide me, amen. All right, so I always start out by prayer, by making sure that God knows. That I'm not just reading any book. I'm reading his words, and I want him to speak to me. So then, Psalm 19. This is, this is kind of what, what it looked like when I was in my, in my quiet time. It said, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes a full circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its heat. And when I was reading just those first six verses, I was like, wow, God, you're so amazing. You're so big. The heavens are declaring your glory. The skies proclaim the work of your hands. I was so, I was in that moment and I was reading these words, but in my head, I was also thinking, God, you are so great. Then verse seven says, the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy making the wise simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving the light of the, of the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinance of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold, 
um, more than pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than the honey from the comb. By them your servant is worn, and keeping them there is great reward. So in this section, I was thinking, God, you're talking, this person, this, this psalmist, the person who wrote the psalms is talking about how amazing your word is. And so I was, as I was reading, and when I got done reading that part, I was like, God, thank you for your word. I can trust in it. It is right. It is radiant. It is pure. It is righteous. It's more precious than gold. God, your word is so great. All right, you ready? Then I got to this part of the scripture and it says, who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. And in that time, guys, God reminded me that I have sin. Sometimes I, I sin and have faults that are hidden that I don't even maybe know that I do, but sometimes I choose to sin. And so in that time when I was reading, I was like, God, forgive me, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for the things that I've done wrong. And I even admitted specific sins and things that were in my heart that I needed to get rid of. Verse 14 is one of my favorite verses. All right, are you ready? It says, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Guys, the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing, God, to you. So I just started praying, God, please help my mouth and my heart, the things in my head, the things that I say to always bring you glory and honor. Guys, God used his word. He used Psalm 19 to speak all of those things to me, to remind me that he's God. He used his word to remind me that his word is so amazing. He used his word to remind me that I had sin in my heart and things that I needed to confess. And then lastly, he used his words to make me remember that everything that comes out of my mouth and the things in my heart need to be pleasing to him. All right, so this was kind of long, but guys, this is an example of how God uses his word to speak to us. It was just like when I was reading this, that I was sitting, talking to God. I was having a conversation with him and he was teaching me from his word about what my heart and what my life needs to look like. And that is why God's word is so powerful. But that is why spending time with him every single day is so important. All right. God, help us to set aside time every day to spend time talking to you and to spend time listening to you from your word. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow.